What if I told you this background is completely fake? That's right, I'll be going over how you can change your YouTube studio background to pretty much anything you want using AI. You can go from something like this, to this, or even this. All you need is Photoshop and a video editing software. I'll be using Final Cut Pro, but you can apply these techniques to any other software like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro. All right, so first things first, you want a pretty clean backdrop just like this. This is just a white wall that I have in my room. You don't want too much clutter in your background just cause it'll be hard for AI to clean it up and make it realistic. Film your talking head video just like this. Have your camera on a tripod and try not to move too much in the frame. Stay in the same position, that'll also make everything look better. All right, so once you've filmed your video, you bring all your footage here onto your computer, opening up your editing software. I recommend doing any basic editing first, cut out any clips you don't need and stuff like that. I also recommend color grading and tweaking your colors before the next step. So once you've done that, you wanna grab a frame from the video. It can be pretty much any frame, doesn't matter. And you wanna drag that image you just exported into Photoshop. All right, so we're gonna work with the lasso tool here. I'm just gonna go ahead and circle an area around me. You wanna make sure you don't go into the areas you think you've moved to, um, cause that'll mess with the background. Now this is the fun part. This is where you play around with the AI and see what it comes up with. Um, you can get creative, but it might take a few tries before you get something you actually like. Let's go ahead with plants and shelving unit. Now let's see what it comes up with. All right, not terrible. This one looks much better. I like that. That one, hmm. All right, so I actually like this one. It has shadows on the wall. It actually looks like it fits into the scene. So I'm just gonna go ahead and export this. Now I'll go back into Final Cut Pro and I'll just bring this background into my timeline. I'm gonna put it under my original clip here, just like this. So you'll see it's actually not there yet. First, we have to do some masking. So we'll just find the masking effect here, drag that onto our clip. Now I'm just gonna draw where I want the masking effect to be applied to around me. Just like that. We've masked out the subject, which is me, and we have our fake background. So I'm just gonna drag this like that so it's under all of our clips. That's awesome. That looks great, honestly, and I'm pretty happy with the result. You know, I could have played around with it some more and see what it comes up with, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. You also wanna apply this mask to all the other clips. I copy this, and I'm just gonna paste attributes, and paste draw mask, just like that. And now you have it applied to all your clips. You can actually go ahead and compound these clips together just to clean up your timeline a little bit more. That's pretty much it. So now you can go ahead and edit the rest of the video like you normally would by adding text, effects, transitions, music, etc. So yeah, as you can see, it's not that hard and if you have the right tools, you can make it look pretty good. It's pretty fun to play around with this and see what kind of results you can come up with. Anyways, if you found this video helpful, leave a comment down below and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be posting a lot more travel vlogs, tutorials, and just diving deeper into my life as a creative. Thank you and see you in the next one.